Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Devin. Welcome back to the channel. Well, welcome back to myself. I, where the hell have I been, pretty much, right? I know, I've been gone. I was like, I'm gonna do it bi-weekly, maybe. Bi-weekly turned into three weeks ago, like a, four weeks a month. My bad, y'all. A lot has happened, like today. I've had two breakdowns today. <laughs> oh my gosh, where do I begin? So, we're just gonna get, get to the top here. Um, so pretty much I've kind of been having a depressed month. I don't want to say depressed, but it's kind of, it's been, it was a really off month for me. Um, for one thing, I gained 10 pounds this past month. Yeah, not fun. <laughs> um, so here's, here's what happened. Here's what kind of led me down gaining 10 pounds. So what happened was, was that I was doing pretty good eating like i think it's on my i think maybe my one of my past videos for like a month ago i was showing how i started eating more so low carb and it's because i was feeling better eating lower carbs so like for breakfast i had like beef and eggs which by the way i got beef in the fridge because i'm having that for breakfast because it was just super good you know i was i was doing all that eat a lot more meats a lot less a lot less carbs not just like carbs i also like veggies and fruits so pretty much the only carbs i was kind of really getting in for the most part like, or like coconut water but not like bread or like tortillas anything like that or like rice at all and i was actually feeling pretty good and i was doing physical therapy and everything started feeling pretty good for me right so well what happened was was that and one of my points for my physical therapy with the package that um, I got because I saw him once a week for the whole month of August, where it was that I could get an RMR test, like a resting metabolic rate. Like if you ever did those TDEE calculators, it's it's that pretty much. But I guess it's like a more accurate version of it just because like you t actually have to take a test for it. So. There's this thing flying. I don't know what it is, but it's like you, you, like you put it on. You like you like or not put it on. You just put it in your mouth and you breathe through it. Like you breathe like a tube for like 15 minutes, and then it gets your TDE or your RMR based off of like your breathing rate and all that. To see how much calories you burn a day at rest. So I have my test right here. So I got this test right. Here it is, and it says pretty much because my thought was you know. I feel like a lot of us feel like this. Oh, anyone, not anyone, but I feel like a lot of us who are like overweight, obese, morbidly obese, I feel like a lot of us feel like we just have super slow metabolism. I, it's like, like it's not me, it's my metabolism, right? <laughs> I feel like that a lot. So I got my test and my test, it said that, it's kind of hard to read there because there's also on the back sheet. The back sheet's kind of just saying this, so it says my resting energy expenditure is 1,843 calories. So I did nothing at all. I laid in bed and I ate 1,843 calories. That's my estimation of how much I burn. And then there's a little chart thing here. And it says that I am like normal. I'm like, like, like here's normal, then there's me. Like I'm like right there, like, like slightly above normal. So I was like, I don't have a slow metabolism. It's actually pretty normal there. So then did the whole calculation and it says maintenance zone, 1,843 calories to 2,395 calories is my maintenance that way. Um, but that's including me working out, like lifestyle, me moving around throughout the day or maybe exercise for like 30 minutes and that that could uh, have the effect there of the maintenance level. And so then what it says, my weight loss target zone is between 1,475 calories to 1,843 calories. And what uh, we discussed here is that pretty much I want, want to be between 16 to 1,700 calories a day. Is what we said best, especially because I am a pretty active person, that that was the best route. So that's what we got there. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do good. Like he even gave me like some recipe, like getting like flaxseed, like meal. I guess it's the breakdown of flaxseeds, not just buying flaxseeds, because you gotta like break it down if you don't, you don't like digest it is what he told me. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I was like, I'm going to do that. So our plan was for me to count calories. Now, 
if you've been here for the channel for a bit, you know for a while I did count calories this year. I think probably between, I want to say the months of like February, March to June, I was counting calories, right? And that wasn't working for me. It really wasn't. I actually stopped because I thought me counting calories was actually going worse for me. Some people it works. Counting calories, it works for people. For me, I felt like in a way I was kind of forcing myself to eat what I did or I felt like hungry because there would be some days where I would feel like not as hungry sometimes I felt hungrier but then like I felt like cause I had my calories like every day so it wasn't like really going for me and so I did it though I said okay I still have the apps downloaded on my phone so I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to download it and I downloaded it count my calories well when I started this, I was 231. Like I said I was doing pretty good. Like I, I, I was really getting into. Like I was, I was in flow. I was in the, I was in a really good groove. What started happening is the days went on. I started like counting calories. Like okay, I have this. I have that. I have this. I have that. I started gaining like weight, and I, I think I'm pretty sure it's it not like fat. Obviously, there's no way I gained like three pounds in two days of fat. But especially about eating, and I was counting it out. But it was the fact I think it was the foods that I was eating. So because like it has the breakdowns, fats, carbs, proteins, your kind of target goals and all that. So I went back to eating more carbs and stuff, which also played a factor because if you eat, if you don't eat a lot of carbs, start eating carbs, you you do get like bloated or water weight. Um, that started happening, but for me, and then this happened, and plus my period was coming, because this was like, yeah, this was like three weeks ago, this happened, it was like in the middle of the month this happened, um, of August. My period started, I, my, I started getting like period symptom cravings, or also I was just getting frustrated with myself, which... It wasn't healthy for me to weigh myself consistently like that or like like well now i'm gaining weight when i changed the way i was eating but that triggered some stuff in me where i spent then i spent a week eating like fast food is what happened like i had popeyes i had taco bell i had a water burger i had papa john's i had mcdonald's like i had all of these foods especially because like i said with me when i was eating beforehand i was cooking my food and I didn't cook any food going forward. At that, that point, I, I didn't. And then I got up to 237, and then my period happened, and I got up to 241. I'm 241, 242 is what I got up to. I got up to 242.2, I believe, on my period. So yeah, pretty pretty heavy for myself there, it really, it really was. And I started to go down a little bit to like 239 i felt good but then it was labor day weekend so i had alcohol and yeah i am bloated to where like i'm at 240 i'm like at 240 i think right now so i gained about 10 pound 10 pounds this past month i think i'm at 240 because when i get alcohol i get really bloated for the next couple of days it's super annoying which is why i don't really drink but i was like it's labor day and not only that we decided to get taco bell too so it was yeah it was a whole thing um definitely this month was going i was going through a lot and i'm just like wait like sleep has been terrible lately um went back into old habits with sleep where i would stay up on my phone or i would fall asleep to the tv because for a while while i was getting better sleep was is that for me i can't be in the dark really i i believe i told this story to y'all long story short for you who don't know if i or if i didn't tell the story when i was 11 i spent a night at my friend's house across the street and some people tried breaking into the house and i saw them so that traumatized me because i had like 11 o'clock at night where i couldn't walk down my street um for like three years at night no joke I'll, I'll walk the street behind mine and then cut through the grass to get to my house when i used to live on fort bliss because i was very traumatized for that i don't like the dark i don't like being home alone at night i really don't when my fiance mccain when she used to work at night it used to really bother me like i had to call my mom <laughs> to like come for me those times where she had to come she had to come over to like be there with me because I was like losing my my you know like my noggin and all like my I was going crazy because of it 
And so me and night time and darkness don't do good. Me and windows don't do good either because they like they broke the they broke the the living room window. So even just being next, there's a window right here. I don't like it. I'm glad there's a monitor here because I, I I can't sleep next to a window. I can't like Michaela. She sleeps on the side next to the window. I sleep like in the corner no matter what. I can't do it. I'm very traumatized by that still. So um, yeah. I don't I don't even remember I kind of went down this rant kind of don't remember where I went with this I don't know how I started that but yeah that's what happened to me my trauma I don't I really don't remember and I'm too lazy to go back and or like and watch this because I'm probably doing all this editing process I'm not gonna lie it's 9 45 at night right now recording so but pretty much just going through a really bad state this past month it was it was very very so bad and not only that, it's like t today I had a whole breakdown. Sleep, that was, let me get back to that real quick. Forget my breakdown, sleep. So sleep is like, I have to have like a night light pretty much in a way. So what we do is we are, one of our bathrooms is in our like, master like bedroom. So I, I pretty much turn on the light to the bathroom and I shut the door. Was like, there's like a tiny bit of light where you can kind of see where you're going, but it's not really like bright. And there's still pretty dark, but like a little bit of light. Yeah, I'm a, I have a high electric bill. I do. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, that's just how I was sleeping. But then I started falling asleep to the TV. I have not been meditating as much. And that's been a problem too. So I've been having a lot more like anxiety or I've been a lot more irritated because I have not been meditating a lot. So um like Kaylin she has the calm map because she meditates like twice a day and so that she gave me like, a pass like a 30 day free trial and I've done some with her I like calm because I like meditating by myself my mind just wanders way too much like way too much I'm over here my mind just wondering how much time I have left to meditate and that's not really the point of meditation especially I do deep breathing and so calm I like it so I got that and as far as like everything else, I just kind of not been having good habits. Even my workouts, I've been I've been working out less. So this past month has not been good. Work has been stressful. That's why this monitor is here because they sent they finally sent the equipment. I work home right now for three days, two days in office. So try to also come up with a schedule because what I've been trying to do to get back into it is that I've been trying to split my workout. So split it at least like 45 minutes in the morning and 45 minutes even. No, this is not 75 hard, okay? Well, I do admit, I must admit, I do like some factors of 75 hard, such as two 45 minute workouts in the throughout the day. I am a fan, or even with these books I've been trying. So I like a kind of like a stack of books here that I bought or I've just been rereading, such as I've been re trying to reread it's Atomic Habits, that way I can get back into habits or this book I've read before. I've had this book for a few years, but I'm reread it. Um, Salt, Sugar, Fat. But these other books is what I bought, such as Knowledge of Health. I have Endurance, which I heard was pretty good. I watched Jack's Blades and then he talked about this book. I really like it. Pretty much like what you should do, like you should be able to like jump at your waist level jump over something stuff like that or you could swim like half a mile stuff like that to survive so i kind of interested in that sweetness and power i have here f from dr joshua Wolrick. food is it medicine just kind of hear the other side i don't say i don't want to say other side but like i guess there's fitness and there's like health at every size or just there's always that beef so like he's from like the health at every size side i guess and then i oh i'm about to spill my stuff here then i have metabolical from i guess robert lustig i forgot where i've even heard of this book but that's the book i got and the last one i have here is belly fat effect by mike milt so i think his his uh channel and his podcast is called high intensity health i think that's what it's called but i've been listening to him a lot and i actually really do enjoy his stuff matter of fact some of the supplements i got this one from like his company gets myosines like vitamin d gummies i have been um taking i've also been going outside a lot more just get a lot more vitamin d as well other i've been taking calm um 
I've been taking through I took it one time. I only took it one time. But I took this Monday. I took this today's Wednesday, um, the eighth here. Um, I took this Monday on Labor Day and this stuff worked so quick. Like my I felt like I took a lax I'm not not a lax, no. I mean kind of in a way. I did poop a lot after taking this I pooped quite a bit, but like a muscle relaxer is what I felt. I felt like an instant muscle relaxer when I took it because I was not paying attention where I just saw serving size four grams, but I, so it says four grams of serving size, but I didn't read the side here where the side says, we suggest starting out with half a teaspoon, one gram, and then you gradually increase to four grams and the serving's four grams. So I just took the whole four. I was just like, well, I should have read. So I was, relaxed so i'm probably gonna take that to see if that helps like bed and then i have been taking this grass-fed beef liver ancestral because like i've been hearing a lot about organ needs like livers and all that but there's nowhere here that buys it it just, it just sounds very expensive buying it online like the shipping and all that so i've been taking the supplements so that's kind of stuff i have been taking as well but my breakdown today though it was because when i woke up and i saw the the scale it just really got to my core just because it's not even me gaining weight me gaining weight of course i don't want to gain weight because like i said my goals to lose weight is for like performance reasons because like the exercise and stuff i want to do but it's like me gaining weight wasn't even like the issue the issue was that i was gaining I'm, I, I'm just keep thinking i'm like i'm sorry i kicked something down there I, I'm not that old, okay? I'm kind of, but not really. Like, I'm 25, and in three years ago, when I was 22, I used to eat so much more food. Like, I used to eat, like, I remember going to work, I used to go to work eating two burritos from the the burrito lady at work with, uh, like, a Coke or something, like a Diet Dr. Pepper, I believe, and, like, Skittles, like a honey bun. That was breakfast lunch i go to like cc's pizza like the little buffet or i might get like jack in the box or mcdonald's or whatever just not even just like the little stuff or chipotle like the burritos like lots of extra sour cream lots of extra cheese and then i'll go home and have like dinner and i have a, I have a whole bunch of snacks throughout the day and i'm like the same size and i was not even working out so that's why i'm bothered i'm bothered because of that because I've ate way, I, even though I still ate quite a bit because I had to pop by to talk about all of that, that doesn't even compare to how I was eating three years ago and I weigh three, five pound difference. That's what's bothering me is that, like how radical my body has changed, such as like, um, my, my fiber cystic breast tissue. Like I have the gorilla, um, gorilla mind pre-workout. I have a um, dare for more plates, more dates. I had this pre-workout and it's just sitting there because I haven't taken it because I, I shouldn't be having caffeine because caffeine inflammation. Like I don't drink coffee or tea anyways, but because of that, I haven't taken any pre-workout. So it's kind of just sitting there, for example. So that or just all these random injuries I've been dealing with in physical therapy and all that. So it's just so much has been happening to my body this year. I swear, like turning 25, it was like check engine light just came on. Like, I'm no exaggeration at all. So that's what's been bothering me. But overall, I'm trying to get better. But like I had my breakdown because of that this morning. I had a whole breakdown, just on the floor crying. But then I took my ass to the gym afterwards. I did go to the gym afterwards. I had a really good workout in it. I did. So I felt fine and good. And then I found out this um, afternoon, like I had my at work, I had a team meeting. So everybody's spirits were all high, we played the hoots and all that. And then I found out that um, my mom's mom's like my grandma my maternal grandmother she passed away today is what i found out and it's of course it's very saddening like i i personally did not know her just because she spent the most of her life in a mental hospital but i still would wish i could have met her or even just because that's my mom's mom so uh, very very emotional there but my mom said we can't be emotional no more <laughs> she was like, we had a little emotional moment, but 
we get back to the lab just glad she's in peace because she's suffering from mental illness so glad she's having eternal peace now so but then I went to the gym I spent two hours at the gym just kind of just I kind of didn't want to come home today I feel like I just kind of need to be at the gym I didn't go like hard or anything like that like too too hard I did do some like pull-ups or at this on the on the machine because I also want to do work on my pull-ups but also I did the like uh, one of the workouts my physical therapist gave me like a little uh, circuit kind of workout or like circuit hit kind of workout I was doing and then I went to the sauna and I was there for like two hours and then now I'm like home and all that so it's been a it's been a hell of a day it, it really has but just getting it back into it said I have the beef that way I could cook it for breakfast in the morning because it wasn't looking back at it it wasn't even that I was under eating why I gained weight it's just the foods that I was eating because like the beef itself and the eggs have like a lot of calories in it just that alone so it's like I know it's not like I'm un I was under eating when I was feeling great and good it was just the foods that I was eating so I am trying to go I'm trying to go back to just eating like fruits and veggies as like carbs and then um, just pretty much eating like meat and um, like eggs and all that is kind of how I'm feeling just because especially because I've been eating a lot of chicken lately and I feel like I've been kind of bloated eating chicken um, I know with my physical therapist too, I remember he was like, avoid saturated fats. Is what he's like, yeah, so avoid the beef and all that. He told me as I was eating beef, I was like, oh my God, but we'll see. But I feel like I've been kind of bloated eating chicken. These, cause I've been eating like a lot of chicken. Like I'll eat like in like eight ounces of chicken, like per like meal. And so I was eating a lot, not per meal, but like per day. I was eating like at least eight ounces of chicken. Like today I had, 12 ounces of chicken I believe so I think that's I think chicken's kind of been making me bloated maybe so I'm, I'm gonna try beef and we'll see how it goes but I just want to give y'all like an update especially because I've been gone for like a while I feel comfortable now doing this these videos going back to it instead of just by week especially with the fact that I didn't want to make videos to be honest because my desk here was just cluttered. It was a mess. I'm trying to have my stuff, trying to have like my work stuff, my work, like my laptop stuff are not on the desk, which is trying to have all that together. Then one thing about it, like this room was a mess or this office was a mess. So I, I cleaned it up on Monday just so I can do it because I haven't done like, really videos in here like that either. But I really did miss doing the videos. So I know with the mic. I have my, it was just my other mic, just that was just too much of a hassle for me tonight to untake it off of the stand, put it back on its original stand, and come in here, but it's still like kind of like blocking my view, so you really can't like see me. So overall, I just want to let you guys know I am back. I feel better. Um, overall, I, I, I thought of changing the name just because I was like, well, if this isn't about weight loss no more, because weight loss would just, I feel like weight loss would just come with everything I do. If I get better, if I get better sleep, I get better nutrition, I get more like vitamin, like vitamin D, walking out, reading more, getting a lot more knowledge in, um, and training hard. I feel like overall, my nutrition, my nutrition, my weight, it's just, it's, it's just kind of going to fall. It's kind of like the, it's going to be the symptom of doing all these things. It's kind of what I'm feeling like. So this isn't just like a weight loss thing, which I ever said before is like kind of a health journey. But then I was like, my name's like Diet Devin, you know, I was like it's Diet Devin. So I was kind of thinking, did I want to change the name of the channel? But I kind of like it because of the alliteration. So I've been debating that. I'm leaning towards no, but I just want you to know is I had I had the thought, but because for me diet, it's kind of like. I, for me, I want to take back the word diet, right? Because diet is, it's whatever you habitually eat. And I don't like what's been happening to the world diet because of like stupid diet culture crap. I can't stand what, how people are like taking the word diet. You shouldn't be on the diet, but it's like, however you eat, if you eat like keto, like for years at a time, yeah, you're on a keto diet. If you eat a uh, fast food all the time, yeah, you're, 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 you're like on a fast food diet, you know, your di diet is what you habitually eat. And that's why I kind of want to keep the name, just put emphasis on it. But you know, like, there's also be other things also well on this channel. But that's all I got here for y'all tonight. Um, this will be up here. You'll probably see this probably Thursday. Um, just 
let's get oh my god my back oh my back's very tense right now from those pull-ups and all that but like even tomorrow for example i'm sure i'm gonna be sore i'm sure i'm gonna be sore so it's gonna be a rest day so i'm gonna I'm just go out walking a lot a lot i'm going to walmart i get paid tomorrow so i can buy more like steaks and all that just to kind of explore back to eating a lot more protein and fats so thank y'all so much here for watching i thank y'all for especially watching due to the fact that i've been mia and for y'all support i really appreciate it i've missed talking to you guys i really have it's just i was going through a lot and i had this idea where i would show y'all like hey this is what i did this past month like yay but that's not what happened <laughs> but i want to like i was hiding stuff from y'all because i i, I y'all know i keep it like up front or like 100 with you guys i don't like i can be very transparent with what's going on so i just want to let you guys know that's what i've been up to but i'll keep you guys updated on my journey and of course on the other videos i'll be making as well please make sure to check out the shorts have a good one